Right, good morning folks. We're just gonna do something together here. Today is the day of the Wild Bad Chippy Run. I've planned a route out this morning and I thought, well, I've got time, so I'm going to go and ride the route that I've planned this morning to make sure there are no restrictions and um, and that it's all good to go and you know be able to say how many miles and stuff and how long it takes. So join me after the intro and we shall get on with this route that I've planned and let's hope it works. Okay, see you in a minute. Roll it. Welcome folks, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. My name is Richard Vida and uh, welcome to the channel. Please do subscribe, click the little bell so you get all future notifications of videos. The weather gods say we've had the last of the rain for today, so fingers crossed that's true. And this route's going to be uh, not that many miles, um, but uh, probably about an hour and a half because we're meeting at six o'clock tonight at the departure lounge. I just want to say hope you all enjoy it by the way and then uh, we're going to have a nice ride through the Peak District and then end up with fish and chips and Matlock Bath. We do this wild bad chippy run every now and again. We did actually once say that we're going to do it every month but it's not so special if you do it so often. I've planned a route that's going to be suitable, hopefully suitable for us all. I just want to do a nice run that's going to be decent and a bit not what you'd expect. So all I'm doing at the moment, I've planned it this morning on Google Maps and rather than planning it in as a route i've uh, memorized it i'm gonna go and ride it now to make sure there's no restrictions but also i've got kalimoto open tracking exactly what i'm doing so if this route does work and you like the look of it i shall probably be offering this route up for you all should you wish to ride it yourself all right so this is uh, south wingfield just coming through from Oakathorpe. I'm gonna ride it at normal pace, speed limit pace. Google Maps said it should take about an hour and a half. But yeah, this is one of my own routes. It's not anything that you would expect and it will not be, uh, <laughs> it's not got, you know what I'm like, I like to be random. Well, I'm gonna take you lot on a Richie's random ride. <laughs> I'm just heading up in towards Kreich at the moment. For your information, this is the B5035 from South Wingfield to Kreich. In with the Panther again, as you can see. I've got to say, I am loving this new Furigan stuff. I've got my mesh that I really love, and my leather. Cheap as chips as well. Leather's not so cheap, but this uh, mesh is about it's about 150 quid, maybe even a touch cheaper. It's top top quality. This is the little village of Kreich. I've had this Africa Twin now since the beginning of June and you know I love it absolutely love this bike if and when Honda do actually come and take it back um, I might well have to get my own because I love it feel great on it it's got a wicked road stance dead comfy lovely engine tone perfectly powerful for what I love looks the business Surprisingly quick, actually, for, you know, the genre of bike. Right, we're just dropping down onto the A6 now, at Ambergate. Over the River Derwent. And then we're going to shoot a left up Longway Bank. Checking the map in this morning, and it's showing us this is called Worksworth Road now. Okay, left up here, look. Uh, Worksworth Road, yeah. This used to be called Longway Bank. It's changed now. The other thing we need to remember is, have you noticed, folks, we're at the very beginning of September, how dark are the nights already? It was dark last night. I know we had crappy weather yesterday, but it was dark last night at 8 o'clock. Guys, it should be a little clearer tonight, so I'm hoping it um, stays a bit brighter for a bit longer. Most definitely need uh, clear visors tonight, folks. There will be another video of this, by the way, of the uh, chippy run tonight. But I just thought I'd uh, not waste the opportunity whilst going out for a ride to uh, stick on the cameras. The last time we did a chippy run, 
we uh, it didn't kind of go it didn't go to plan and I didn't never made a video of it because there were no points um, in fact I've still got about 120 gigabytes worth of footage from that night but uh, I'll probably never do anything with it I had the um, I had the super adventure from KTM 1290 Egon were on the Harley that I had on a on a you know a, a super long-term subs rides and yeah we left the departure lounge there's a little tiny roundabout little mini roundabout immediately on leaving the departure lounge and we got a split up there <laughs> not even uh, well 200 yards we got split up after 200 yards a few managed to follow us and then a load didn't so tonight we're going to implement the drop-off system I'm going to be at the front obviously on the Super Duke R from KTM the Gaz is going to be back marker man on the uh, Ace Suzuki Katana and you lot are going to be the, the, the filling inside the wild bad sandwich tonight Whoa, what a sandwich right this road will actually take us down to a place called Worksworth but we're not going to do that we're going to cut off in a sec follow this road straight to a place called Bowl Hill. B O L E H I L L. Bowl Hill. The famous Black Rocks in front of me at the top of Cromford Hill. Went there yesterday with my Georgia, took a climb in. Yeah, I don't think you'll really see it from here, but if you're ever in the area, folks, and you've got a couple of hours to spare, I recommend visiting Black Rocks. Cromford. Quite a spectacle and uh, a decent climb as well. I took my daughter up it yesterday. It's not like a it's not like a rock climber's climb. It's a you know a pedestrian's climb. But you need your sensible shoes on because it's not easy. All right, we're going to bear around to the left here. Black Rocks is through this tunnel to the right. There, but we're not going to go that way. We're going to go. Here, then we're going to turn right and then left up towards Carsington. We're not going to Carsington, but uh, it's the road up towards Carsington. Right, uh, okay. Take a left under the bridge. This is Bowl Hill. Taking a left here. That's Cromford down there leading to Matlock Bath and Matlock. Right, so if we went straight over at this junction, it would take us to Carsington Water. We're not going to do that. We're going to go right here towards Middleton. And essentially that will drop us down on the uh, Vigelia Road. Just basically a long way around from Cromford. This particular video is more of a route guiding video than a entertainment daft being silly video. Never really done a video like this before actually. Right this is the little village of Middleton and this road drops us down into the middle of the Vigelia road which a lot of you all know the infamous Vigelia which runs basically all the way up through the bottom of this valley. I'll add a little bit of time onto my route to allow for, you know, the drop-off system and waiting a little bit at junctions. But the purpose really of this particular ride now is just to make sure there's no restrictions on the route that I want to do. I don't want to get us all down a dead end and have to turn around. It's a recce. I'm doing a recce of tonight's chippy run. You guys have probably noticed that I'm doing more. There's more videos coming out at the moment because post-COVID, um, uh, my daytime job, if you like, my business, is uh, it's not slowed down any. But rescheduling business that's uh, you know been postponed is a bit difficult. So it's given me a lot of time to pump into the channel. Um, and that's the way I want it to go uh, so I can concentrate more on creating business for you through this media rather than my actual business so we're gonna go right here this is the Vigelia Road and then we're gonna turn left 
Okay, so that's Cromford down there. This is uh, away from Cromford. Up towards, like, uh, Buxton, if you like. We're not going to go that far, though. <clears throat> Some will notice that I have now opened memberships to the channel. Because, I'm, like I said, I'm slowing my other business down. I want to pump everything into this. And any help will be greatly received. So you can now become a member of the Richie Vida channel. You just click the little join button. There's three different tiers at the moment. You choose whatever you want to do. Um, it should you wish to support the channel, that is. You don't have to, and those that don't will remain the same. But those that do will get a few extra little bits here and there. You know, a little, little heads up here and there for things that uh, otherwise you wouldn't see. And of course, there's my Patreon, Richie Vida, should you wish to join that. As I said, I am very grateful for... Whoa, look at these rocks. I'm pointing on the floor there to remind riders behind me that are not even there. If I could make this my actual business, I would be very happy. Creating is what makes me happy, so... If I can do that and pay the bills at the same time, then the channel will only go from strength to strength. Of that, I have no doubt. Do you know, folks, we have now crossed nearly... Uh, we have now surpassed seven and a half million views on this channel. My videos have been viewed seven and a half million times. My channel has been viewed seven and a half million times. That is bonkers. So if, you're, if you are a regular viewer of the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Let's get these subscribe numbers up a little bit. Click the little bell. Every time I upload something, you'll get a little ping through on your phone saying, Rich has just uploaded a video, so you won't miss anything. It doesn't cost anything to become a subscriber. To become a member, it does. To become a subscriber, it just basically means that you're supporting in attendance, if you like, um, and that you won't miss any videos. banging on about the countryside and how much I love it so I wanted to take people into the heart of the countryside and when I say the heart of it and real countryside just a teeny teeny tiny tiny little bit of the route might be unpaved there towards Minninglow this folks is where it gets exciting okay we're gonna turn a right here and we've got countryside gates to open and close I'll apologize to this farm now for the rumble that's going to come through here later on. So it's taken me 39 minutes to get to this point. Right. Neutrally.
for all you the lovely clean polished bikes are probably gonna be a little bit disgruntled with me at this moment of tonight's ride whoops oh dear massive puddle down here look not sure if this is ideal or not go on then easy it's flat actually flat nice and steady over there there we go thank you moo cows sorry to disturb your morning that'll be really nice that stretch there for a picture as well all of us stretched out there a little bit further down here maybe I had a comment of someone whilst I were riding this a while ago saying why do all riders on this style of bike stand up the second they go off road? Why don't you just let your suspension do the work? It's nothing to do with the suspension, it's to do with off road riding and how the bike moves under you. You, you behave different on corners you, um, right? Uh, you know like when you're on the bike you're leaning with it, when you're off roading, uh, when you're off roading and standing up if you look now like I'm leaning against it look so I'd lean the bike that way and lean against it and you, you pull the bike against your inside leg there I don't know if you can see me properly but so like this corner lot I would lean one way but lean the bike the other way so you let the bike move independently to you rather than leaning with it like you would on the road for your information 45 minutes so far this is Ballyden Quarry, a working quarry as you can see. And at the end of here we're going to be turning left to go towards Longcliffe. Right, left here towards Longcliffe, look. is now where I get a little bit hazy from what I'd planned in my head. We need to head towards Elton from here, so I can't remember. Uh, Bakewell, that's right, yep, 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 so left and left again, so left towards Longcliffe, left towards Bakewell. That's right. Well, I've been 30 miles so far, not even 30 miles actually. Yeah, it's crazy that really, we've only done 40 mile right now, we're just coming into Matlock. It's Matlock if we go straight. I'm going to take a little right here. And again, I feel like banging my head against the wall with this, but uh, for those that are not from the area, Matlock and Matlock Bath are two very different places. So Matlock is left. Taking a right here, which will take us through Matlock, but well, not the main part of Matlock. This takes us um, on the A6 to Matlock Bath. Matlock Bath is where the bikers go for the chips, not Matlock. Not Matlock. <laughs> Ryber Castle up there, look. This is, uh, Matlock is down there. And this little bit here is Matlock. And Matlock finishes at the end of this strip. Used to be buzzing down here years and years and years ago. You know, with pubs and stuff, this was a place to go at night. No, it's like, like most places, just dead. Right, Matlock pretty much ends where this bridge is. Touch further. go 
Matlock Bath now. And this is the end of our little run tonight. The end of the chippy run. And it's also the end of this little video. Thank you very much for watching. It's nice to do a recce of a route, if, especially if you've got people with you. To make sure there's no, um, you know, serious roadblocks or anything like that. As always, folks, thank you very much for being here. Please do click that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Matlock Bath, right in front of us. When you get to the Midland pub, you know you've made it. The chippies are just around the corner. Be good, be careful, and be kind. See you all soon. Thanks very much. And we'll be eating. This is the one I prefer, promenade there. This cost is which is good as well. Well, promenade for me. That's it folks, thanks very much. I'm off, ta-ta! Oh, it's got a really nice whiff of fish and chips. Ooh.